Welcome everyone to the Orange Design and Hexa Media Group video podcast. Here we are back again, week number three with all the lovely staff here. And today we're going to do an FAQ style format to keep it a little bit more digestible. I know some of our videos uh, can go a little bit long. Sometimes we get too deep into technical details here. We're going to give you short snippets that are a little bit easier to digest, a little bit easier to understand. So I'm David Cly. Uh, Maya, would you like to introduce yourself, please? Sure. My name is Maya Garnot. I am the content director here, um, leading and overseeing content, SEO, design, and social media. Eric? I'm Eric. I am uh, one of our SEO specialists here. And Jason. Hi, I'm Jason, uh, also one of the SEO and content specialists. All right. So we've got all the SEO content specialists. Let's talk about some SEO. So one of the things we get asked quite a bit is, how much does SEO cost? Uh, and there's a lot of different articles on this. They're all different, but you know, every, everybody's going to approach that one differently, right? So, Maya, would you like to go ahead and start off with some of the, the costs on that, or would you like me to kind of <laughs> ramble off some? Well, I can start, um, but the, the short and immediate answer to the question is definitely it depends. Uh, it depends on a lot of things, on what you're paying for and everything, exactly what you're getting, and also like the level you want to be at, because... To a certain point, um, you you know, you get what you pay for. You, you know, you could start with something modest and introductory for maybe a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars a month um, if you want to, you know, get something out of it, but you want to start small. Uh, but you could also go up into the thousands, tens of thousands uh, of dollars a month or, you know, one time projects in that range. If you want to be really aggressive or you are in a very saturated um, industry where there's a lot of competition um, in the search realm and um, there's, you know, your return that you get on it, it just really depends on what you put into it. And another thing you want to consider is, you know, what the what is the value of one conversion one sale one customer to you yeah i've noticed a lot of people don't track that you know we'll, they'll track rankings they'll track visits but they don't have someone that is a guide and says okay here's what every single conversion is worth to you and then here's what every single sign up is worth right exactly because we were just talking to a client um earlier this week and they were saying that even just one or two signups based on um, web visits would more than pay for our seo services because they work with clients on such a level that they are spending you know a lot of money so you know in that sense just one single conversion and our job is done <laughs> well what do you think is because i have my own opinion on this um what do you think is the single biggest factor in seo cost um i'm going to say that it's competition in most cases you know because that's why you have different tiers of seo so like if we're working with a law firm or we're working with a home services provider the reason that those costs are so different and and they're if it's a franchise of course it could be a little bit different but like when you're looking at law firms specifically like the big ones right the, the major ones that are all on the front page of google the cost to be there it can be significant because they all have big money invested and when you go with like a home services or someone of that nature, you know, your plumbers, your HVAC people, et cetera, there's, there's still competition, but there's not so much money and time invested into it. Right. And there's also enough clients to be able to support, you know, the first few um, results on the, on the page, I think. But yeah, I think that the, the competition, the industry you're in definitely dictates what, what you can spend or what is possible, you know, because in some of the very competitive and saturated, um, you know, areas, that initial range I was talking about, the $1,500, isn't really going to, you know, get you results. So that, in that sense, that's just money wasted. It can get you positions, but I feel like that's um, one of the things that limits people a lot is like, they'll say, I have $1,500 to spend. Right. Okay, that's only going to get, you know, especially when you have an agency, like a team of people working on one person, you know, they're going to have more time to dedicate but when you have a team of people, it's, it's very difficult to spread that out, right? So if a person has, if they need content work, if they need local SEO work, if they need Google My Business, if they have really bad backlinks, if the site sucks, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? If the conversion errors, because like, yeah, we get all these rankings. We send them back to this apocalyptically bad looking site that's just a Word doc with like poor quality phone pictures from 10 years ago on it. That's not going to convert. It's almost like, it, I wouldn't say they're wasting their money because some people will still convert just because they need you know, a provider, mm -hmm. but it's not going to be at the same rate. Yeah, and that actually brings brings us to um, my other answer to your question about, you know, what, what are the factors, I guess, are the main factor that determines, um, you know, a cost or the spend for SEO. I think it's, 
you know, definitely the industry because you want to, you have to be able to play at the other people's level or the other businesses level. Um, if you, if you want to, you know, really dominate, but the other thing would be, um, just how the strategy or how that, that budget is allocated because, um, you know, I was looking at statistics about the average cost for like automated SEO services, which is not <laughs> yeah. what we do. And, and, you know, that's at like the 500 to a thousand dollar range is what I read. And they're and, all pitching it too. Right. It's like, this is, you know, guaranteed front. like, that's a big red flag for me is anytime mm -hmm. you see guaranteed front page, this guaranteed, you know, yeah. all this, it's like, wait a minute, how could you ever guarantee something that you don't own? Like that if you, you don't own Google right. and all the platforms, like, I mean, there's strategies, uh, Another thing I was thinking of when they when they say that guarantee, it's like, well, if somebody was paying, let's say, five hundred dollars a month for SEO, I could probably get them on page one in two or three or four years. Mm -hmm. you, you see what I mean? It's like guaranteed, but when <laughs> right. is this like this month, next month, or next decade? Um, right. Because you know, over time, that will have an effect. It will accumulate. You know, you will have those backlinks. You will have additional pages, but it's going to take a long time. And during that period you know, likely you're going to have a lot of people that are spending a lot more. Right. Uh, and I don't think the, the money is not always money. All you're doing is you're paying for time and skill. Right. right? And, and, and placing that time and skill in the right areas is, is what's important. And that's actually what I was going to say next is that, um, you know, there are things we can do for that are less labor intensive that can still supplement and be good signals for, for your site performance. But a lot of the, you know, the main areas that, that cost the most in terms of SEO are the ones that you actually need to be effective, um, you know, to, to really make waves, basically, mm -hmm. which is like the strategy and reporting, you know, strategy. So you actually have a plan that's tailored to your company in, in your space and reporting so that you actually have numbers to see how it's performing and where, when things need to be changed. And then the other really big thing that, that, takes the time is content focus because SEO is a lot of things but a big part of of what we provide is tailored content that's um, you know a lot of copywriting but also you know graphics and infographics images video things like that but backlink um, building yeah and Eric and Jason <laughs> can talk that. a lot about the the manual part of things which is the writing and the backlink stuff that it it just is time intensive labor intensive uh, but you know that's that's what differentiates the, you know, the true competitors and also white hat from more spammy or underhanded SEO practices. Well, do you guys want to, this, this isn't the Dave and my podcast, right. so do you guys want to give some feedback on that? Sure. I mean, um, to what kind of on the heels of, of what Maya was talking about, um, you know, the, the content, like when we roll our sleeves up and, and really get to work, um, you know, you start getting into that you know, on-page, off-page SEO practices um, where, you know, the on-page stuff is where we really get, um, you know, the content that we create, um, whether it's, you know, the actual just physical content or it becomes, you know, uh, dive down a, in a little bit into the weeds with, uh, with headers and subheads and, you know, lists and videos. and Blogs, you know, FAQs. Yeah. Like, yeah. There's, when people think of content, you know, a lot of times they're just like, oh, they're going to add some stuff to right. pages in my site and it's going to rank. It's like, no, 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 <laughs> there's no, so much not. more supplementary stuff. Right. It's like, first of all, you know, we can go into the technical parts, you know, making sure that certain things match titles, metadata, URLs, headers, links, et cetera. Uh, and there's some image stuff that we can talk about, you know, on a separate topic. But then, you know, rounding out a whole topic, it's like if I produce content about, you know, X, Y, Z, so I also need blogs about that. I also need FAQs. I also need other sites that aren't even within my domain that link back right. using XYZ And text. then interlinking all of that in your site in a way that makes sense and that tells the search engine, you know, this page is about this and these other pages are about, you know, related to this or whatever to really, you know, tell search engines and, you know, Google. That's that's how they are able to understand, you know, your site structure and, and what information is important to the user if they're looking for something. Eric, do you want to have a point on that before we move on? Yeah, just in general about, um, I think it goes back to what you were saying about the cost. kind of depends on where you're starting from and where you want to go. Mm -hmm. If your last site, if your last company just screwed everything up entirely. <laughs> We've been, then it yeah, might, good yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but if you have a reasonable base, then it's probably going to cost less to get... 
Well, how many sites have we taken over that they couldn't start from square one? They were like negative 10. Right. <laughs> right. And we're just now Build getting to the point where we're seeing 100%. positive growth. Yeah. Um, and, and that's, I think that's a big thing, you know, when, when you're working with somebody is to have that transparency. Maya, you brought up another good point. You know, we were talking about the reporting. It's like reporting is, it's not part of technical SEO, but it should be part of an SEO campaign because and if there's no reporting and, and well, let's just say, there's some reporting, but it's not useful, mm-hmm. right? Actually it's digging vanity. down. What's that? Vanity metrics. Yeah, exactly. Vanity metrics. And, and people can cherry pick anything. I mean, you can go in analytics and say, all right, we're not going to look at this, but let's look at this and let's present this. And that's what a lot of these automated ones do. You know, they're, they're, they're automated dashboards, like really fancy because you get to log in. It's like customizing there. And it's like visits and impressions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, well, that's kind of, I mean, it's helpful, but it's kind of pointless Okay, how many conversions? What conversions did those URLs come from? Right. What sources did they come from? What um, are they searching to get to those pages? What pages 100%. are they entering from? Yeah. And how long are they on and those And, you know, when we're looking at, like, the cost of a total SEO campaign, I definitely think you have to factor in the reporting because how much do you really want to know, right? Now, for, I think it's somewhat expected on the lower cost campaigns. You know, if you're looking at, you know, four or 500 bucks a month, I mean, that's just not where we can operate in because we can't really provide the 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 results that people are going to expect from that. I could, I could sign people up for that all day long, but I wouldn't because it's going to take so long to have an effect. And, and during that time, there's going to be a lot of questions. Right. Um, and again, like as and Eric said, that's where it gets if we more. inherit, you know, somebody else's dirty laundry, it's like, Oh, great. Now here's something that would take not just one person to fix, but maybe three or four people to fix over months. Months. Yeah. yeah. And, and it, Oh, go ahead. Yeah. If it takes a few years, like you were saying, um, over that time, Google's going to, change what it <laughs> right times too so when you started up wherever you started out Fed, it's not going to be necessarily what it's just an uphill be, run yeah. like the longer it takes i think the worse it off it is and the other thing i was going to say is just that paying that that lower amount and you know we're not saying that nothing can be done at that amount and that people can't have good services at that level but um often when you pay for or look for like a budget seo uh service or whatever you know paying that you're actually it's more expensive in the long run it's like paying for repairs over and over on a on an old faulty machine or something Mm -hmm. when you could you know replace it and pay or pay a little bit more to begin with but then actually start to see the roi and and you know results of that i'm gonna sneak in like my one car analogy here (laughs) so it's like buying really cheap brake pads and then trying to go racing (laughs) and then wondering why they fail in that too (laughs) (laughs) right right 